hey, I got this uh, solenoid bypass valve here. And I can see the uh, see the little plunger, the gate, or whatever you want to call it in there. Down in here. And when I put 12 volts to it, it doesn't do anything. It, this thing might actually be seized or <laughs> shorted. I think I read about 3.9 ohms. Let's read it again. And there could be a diode in there, you know, for, I don't know why, but for like if it was just a regular on-off coil, there could be also be a diode in there just to stop the uh, voltage from going back into the PCM during the, uh, when the magnetic field collapses. So it's like about 3.2, 3.1 ohms right there. You know, I kind of envisioned like a Hoshisaki water fill valve, you know, when I saw this thing. I'll get a little more to it than this. Dude, that thing had all sorts of junk in it. Oh man, look at it. Wow, what the hell? Yeah. Wow, look at the garbage. You know, it makes me want to do a flush on that engine. That, that car's only got 50, a little over 50,000 miles on it now, I think. This is like a little gate valve. It does have a little I was gonna say that it might be a long time. So it looks like you can see the light through there. It's shut, and then it has it fully opens by just moving that far. So it's got like a slot in this that matches that middle partition on here. So it's closed, and then just start moving it. Opens like the top half and the bottom half at the same time with that slot in the middle always stays there It looks like so it doesn't move very far I guess that's a kind of a way to make a little bit of movement open the valve a lot okay, so. That's the plunger I bet this thing's screwed <laughs> It does look pretty yucky right there. It looks horrible Yeah, get a photo of this thing. So yeah, that thing looks like garbage. Got the garbage in there. It's like somebody said. Yeah. So this evidently obviously moves. And if it's just a solenoid, then it's definitely seized. But if it's motorized, then I can understand it not moving. Ruin this thing. Look at that. Oh man, it's toast. Look inside this thing. Spring there. Okay, so it's got a. Uh, that's what it's. Okay, so that explains the fault. Now, this was probably sealed in the bellow or whatever, because you know coolant's not supposed to get on all these parts and inside here. So yeah, it's just a solenoid. It's not motorized. That's just full of sludge. <laughs> There's the inside of there. It's the same thing. It's just nasty in there. All sorts of crap down in there. So, hmm. Makes me want to flush it. They tell you you don't have to. 
So I might have to listen to Scotty Kilmore, where he says that how the manufacturer tells you you, know, you could go for almost life for the engine or 100,000 miles or whatever on transmission flushes and coolant flushes with the newer cars. He's like, don't listen to that nonsense. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> it's normal maintenance. Yeah, and I think uh, I think that I think it needs it. Looking at the crap that's in here, that's not good. So, anyway, so all right. Well, that's with some show and tell of the Ford coolant bypass control valve. This one was definitely garbage, and I'm pretty confident that um, the problem has been fixed on the car, and that how it's showing the fault in there was uh, maybe still just me not reading the uh, diagnostic correctly or something. But we'll find out. The wife's supposed to be taking the car to go run some errands later. We'll let her drive the car. We'll see what it does.